Hello, it's your friend the neighbourhood bus driver Ant, and I hope you're all well. Um, I'm off this week, so there's not been no bus driving content, so I thought I'd do a little bit something different for you, and a bit strange, but I thought I'd show you what a bus driver takes to work from on a day-to-day -day basis, well, what I take to work anyway. So, this is my rucksack, this is my Syro, my change machine, uh, we'll get into this later, but I thought I'd show you what we have in my bag. Um, Something different. Not every bus driver probably carry the same thing. Um, so I have a few pockets. I'll just take stuff out. So that's it. So in the top pocket of my rucksack, I carry my DCQ card, uh, my driver qualification card, and my pass to get into our canteen at work. Uh, this is the most important thing that I carry. I cannot drive a bus without this card. Uh, the, D, the driver qualification card is the most important thing that we have to carry. If we don't have it, we get sent home. A pen. <laughs> I have a couple of pens in my bag. This one's just in the front of the pocket. Um, and this is obviously, if it was involved in an incident or there's a problem, uh, I think it's always handy to have a pen. I usually have one that has um, a um, stylus on the end of it, but I seem to have lost it. My other thing is my Green Road Fob. Green Road Fob. Um, this has to be carried with me at all times. It's usually on my keys, but I've just had my battery replaced, so it's been living in the top pocket of my bag. I'll put all my stuff back in. And I have two pairs of headphones. You might be thinking, why two? Well, I recently just got, these are my old headphones. These are my new ones. They both need charging. From Google Pixel, um, great quality. These are noise cancelling, and these are just normal ones. Um, I have these. I don't use them when I'm driving. This is for when I'm having my dinner break, uh, and I'm listening to things like a podcast, um, Critical Role, or watching a couple of YouTube videos, or having a phone call with a colleague. I prefer to have headphones in and have a phone call. And if I'm traveling passenger as well, I'll always have my headphones in. So don't think I'm being rude if I don't hear you and you say hello. It's probably I've got headphones in. Um, side pockets, I normally have a bottle of water. This is just for sure. In no, nope, it's the one with the tear. It's always the one with the tear because I put my water, I put my change in this side if I have any change. Um, taken out of the bus. So the next pocket is, I have my hat, which is grubby. So that can go in the wash, <laughs> put that in the pile. So I always I always carry my hat in the bag. Um, I didn't know my bag was this dirty at the bottom of it. Oh, that's really bad. So I obviously my brand that I drive for is Rosso. That'll get washed now. Um, spur wallets, so Rover wallets. Cause you never know if your bus has got any on. It's always best prepared. I normally have a ticket roll, but I think I've used it. Um, it's actually a really good thing that I'm cleaning out my bag and I'm replacing things that I need to because I'm off. I go through it. I always have paracetamol, but I've run out. Uh, if you have a headache, it's always good to have some on board, so we'll get them replaced. Um, deodorant. I don't know why, but it's always something I've done when I worked in uh, for BT in the hot days. It's just nice to have, make sure you feel fresh. Um, the other thing I have is a torch. Um, this was my instructor, uh, Tracy told me, always carry a torch for you, especially at night and during the dark mornings to do your vehicle check. Even though our vehicle checks can be done on the Transora device, the torch does come in handy when you, when you, you know, looking for things. So that's in the front pocket. There's normally a ticket roll in there, but I think I used it. I usually carry a little bit of odd change in there from a broom, uh, but I have used it all. Right. So, I need some ticket roll. Ah. Now, the back of my thing. My lanyard. Uh, I have a lanyard in my bag. And the reason why is I'm always losing my car keys. So, I attach my car keys to my lanyard. And they go in the back of my bag. And these are my car keys. On the car key, we have our fob to get into the canteen at Blackburn. And this is a hid. This is for BT. That's why I worked at BT. Um, and then bottle opener in case in the summer you want a Coca-Cola from the fridge that has a cap on. First aid kit. Now, I am no longer first aid trained, but I carry a first aid kit. The reason I carry this is uh, to protect myself. Uh, if I have a small incident on board, uh, it has vinyl gloves in it. Um, we've, I've had a couple of times where people have got on bleeding. I can't perform triage, but I can offer them a plaster. Um, it is not recommended. Um, but I carry it because it's it's it was given to me uh, through another company I work for. It's brand new, actually. It was given to me uh, when I do litter picking, and yeah, so I always carry my first aid kit. 
Uh, oh, there is a ticket roll. Ticket roll. I usually carry two of these, but they're very heavy. So I'm down to one ticket roll at the moment. These are essentials. Right. Um, 5p at the bottom. Notebook. I always have a notebook with me. Um, in case I'm just jotting things down for work. There are some things in there. No, they're not. I thought they were timetables. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Right. That's everything out of my bag. Move the bag off the table. So, yeah, I carry a notebook. Uh, this one's from a time when I worked at BT. Um, I, hang on. Hello, Sky. Yeah, it's all right. You walk in the frame, darling. Um, I got one from working with the Google team. Um, so, in here's a lot of notes about when we were learning to drive buses and little bits of other things. And then at the back, I think I've got stuff in it for videos, upcoming videos that I'm working on. I think they're right at the back, but top secret. So yeah, notebook. And obviously if you have an accident, we have an accident form. I haven't got any accident forms actually. Um, I need to put some in my bag um, and put them in there and then can take notes. Cloth. Oh my God, the amount of times I've been caught short and needing a cloth. So I have a, I have a cloth in my bag and that is for cleaning my mirrors when it's raining or foggy. Say hello to Sky. Um, USB-C to USB-C charger, um, my phone is USB-C, my accessories are USB-C, my camcorder, my new camcorder is USB-C, the tripod I'm using now is USB-C, I just don't have a USB-C plug, I need to invest in another USB plug, I did have one, uh, but my phone charger upstairs broke and I used my spare one, so I'm going to get another one. Um, this bag's useless, it's got a hole in it, so I don't use it anymore, that was my change bag. And this is my spur change. So in here is like what I keep my notes, um, my currency notes in there. So I have £20 float from the work, which stays in there. Another pen. Um, and I'm, I have more money. Um, most important thing, cutlery set. It needs washing. But yeah, carry a cutlery set because when you want something to eat and I have porridge on a Monday morning and Tuesday because I'm very, very much type of person who likes to keep the same things going. I, can, I don't like using cutlery out of the staff room because not everyone washes up properly. So I have my own cutlery set and I got that from Poundland and that was, I was trying to buy it and Carly bought it. And then finally, my Syro, which is in better days because I threw it and broke the corner, but I'm going to repair it. This was already broken. It is somebody else's, it doesn't work properly. I'm thinking of retiring it because it's really heavy and the 50p draw sticks. But it is handy as anything because I lose money. So yeah, that's the Syro. I might do a video on repairing it actually because it is quite battered. Um, oh, where's the camera going? Away from the cat. <laughs> yeah, it's quite battered. Um, but yeah, it's old as well. It wasn't mine, it was somebody else's uh, and it was broken. The other item that's usually in my bag, but as you can see, it's not today because it's been washed is my uh, high-vis and my work jacket. It's just there. Um, that is my other high-vis. I have two high-vises. I have one in the car and one that I put in my bag because um, you always should have a high-vis with you. And that is what is inside a bus driver's bag. If you've got any comments or would like to know more about uh, each item or have you any recommendations if you're a bus driver, what you carry additionally, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care.